A rare moment of joy for these rescue workers in the Moroccan town of Moulay Brahim on Saturday as they pulled a survivor out from under the rubble after the deadliest earthquake to hit the country in six decades. The quake struck Morocco's high Atlas Mountains late on Friday night. By the early hours of Sunday, the official death toll had soared past 2,000, with more than 2,000 others injured. Those numbers are set to continue rising, while the situation is bleak for many of those who survived. In this village in Azni, almost all structures were damaged in the quake. This mother of two young children is not sure what to do, saying the quake destroyed her home and badly injured her husband, who is the family's sole provider. The damage is also extensive in the historic old city of Marrakesh, some 45 miles northeast of the quake's epicenter. Many there spent a second night sleeping rough on Saturday as their homes were at risk of collapsing. This man said the walls in his house were full of cracks and that he would not go back until authorities can send experts to check it. People urge the government to step up the help for those most in need. Malah is one of the poorest areas in the city and those people need help like food, water, blankets, all whatever, whatever you can help. Morocco's royal court on Saturday declared three days of national mourning and said its armed forces are sending rescue teams to provide affected areas with clean drinking water, food supplies, tents and blankets. Meanwhile, the community is helping out where it can, with people seen stepping up to donate blood to save those who were injured in the quake.